Andre, congratulations on your selection for Ireland and the pending trip to New Zealand for the World Cup. I'm sure you're really looking forward to that. Yeah, I certainly am. Um, as you say, you know, it's a World Cup. And it doesn't get much bigger than this. And um, I think with the way Irish rugby is at the minute, you know, things are going fairly well. And it's you know, it's a, for me, it's a privilege to be a part of a squad like this. And uh, and I like to think I'll be able to contribute something to this squad as well to make it make it better. So um, you know, it's a massive occasion, and um, you know anybody who wants anybody who wants to play rugby, be a professional rugby player, wants to represent their country, and anybody who does that wants to do it at a World Cup. So it doesn't get any bigger than this, and. Uh, yeah, I'm really delighted to be a part of it and can't wait to get out there. Well, Ireland in the, in the previous World Cups have, uh, have failed to really meet their targets uh, that they set themselves. So you were there in 2007 in France. Uh, you were disappointed that they had come with that one? Yeah, 2007 wasn't much fun really for anybody. Um, it was just one, one of those things. Things didn't go our way. I think whether the preparation was wrong, what we did there when we got there, a game plan, whatever it was, um, you know, We've, we've put an, an awful lot of work into the preparation for this World Cup and we're just going to have to make it count and uh, once you get out there there's no excuses it's you know it's going to be massively intense and uh, I think a lot of guys uh, who were involved in the first in the 2007 World Cup look back and say listen you know I don't want anything to do with um, another performance like that or another campaign like that and I think traditionally Ireland have struggled in, in World Cups and um, you know, I suppose in that way, there's there's a bit more pressure on us. But you know, I think um, you know we're we're more than capable of dealing with that pressure. And and, and you know, I think we've definitely got an underdog tag going into the, the campaign. No one expects us to really feature, but um, we've got massive ambitions and we want to do big things. And we want people to look back in years to come and say, you know, um, you know, Ireland's 2011 World Cup campaign was a success. And, I want to be a part of that. Well, having said that, you know, if you look back on Ireland's uh, contribution in the last three, three, six nations, really, who have won the Triple Crown, won the Grand Slam, um, and should really have done better last season. But, uh-huh. you know, they're not a bad side, and most of these players have featured over the last five years are in, will be going to New Zealand this time around. So the expectation is really, OK, you're saying that you're not going down there, uh, you know, as favourites or anything like that, but you're, the expectations are this team could do very well. I think so. I think there's a lot of people aware of how good we potentially can be, and I don't think traditionally we've fulfilled that potential. Um, you know, certainly in my experience, we haven't. And um, just in bits and pieces, maybe not 80 minute performances, but little bits and pieces, we show glimpses of how good we can be. And, uh, and certainly, I'm very confident that, that if we put um, a big performance together, you know, we can be. We can we can be a quality side of this World Cup, and um, you know and I'm looking forward to being a part of it. Well, last year you know you, you did feature in the Autumn Internationals. You, you you played very well indeed. You played well for Ulster, um, and eventually you did break through to the team at the end of last season. Um, I'm sure you'll be wanting to build on that. Yeah, definitely. For for me, you know, last Six Nations campaign was 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 disappointing the whole way through. I didn't manage to get involved at all until the last game. And if there was ever a game you wanted to be involved in, it England, was yeah. it was England, you know, in the Six Nations. And they were going for the Grand Slam, and it just you know it was great to to get in there and produce a massive performance and produce a display that will be remembered for years to come. And um, for me, you know, I was involved in that. And I think whenever you're involved in big occasions like that, it, it makes you look forward to World Cups and other occasions. Uh, and think you know let's let's make this count as well and let's make another occasion as good as as good as that was so um, you know if you know if something special like that happens I certainly want to be there and I want to contribute to make sure it does happen as well. Andrew, thank you very much uh, for taking part in this little interview and good luck in New Zealand and we'll see you back hopefully fit and well ready for Clement Ravern uh, when you return. Good man.